In my experience of living in the city for the last 69 years, I saw this city was great. It was a wonderful place to grow up. They called Detroit the Paris of the West. And a lot of these communities now feel like they're forgotten neighborhoods. A lot of people don't know that history. They don't know why people stick and stay. We have a, a, a reputation in Detroit that we never give up. The Joe Lewis Greenway route um, runs for 27 and a half miles, essentially as a large loop that connects the entire city of Detroit. The Greenway route will serve as a backbone or a main kind of alignment for the non-motorized and greenway system and bike lanes in the city of Detroit, uh, providing access throughout all the major destinations of the city. The connections are designed in a way to improve economic development uh, by connecting residents to jobs, connecting them to commercial districts. Uh, the connections reach neighborhoods that haven't seen investment in the past. Detroit uh, has been uh, historically a, a big bicycling city and a walking city before the automobile. And so it's kind of coming back around. Um, more people are getting back into biking and walking and Detroit can be a bike city and a motor city as well. We are getting bike lanes and we are getting pathways like the Greenway. It's, it's slowly making Detroit a better place. One of the things that brings passion to this project is, is talking to those residents hands-on, hearing what they've been through, what they're going through, how strong they are and how excited they are to have this project come. The community is excited because they did a lot of community engagement to see what the community felt. And at this point, people are calling me with business ideas saying, how can I bring this business up near or close to the Greenway? You just can't come into a neighborhood and say, hey, we're here to build a trail. The first thing you have to do is listen to what the neighborhood's priorities are and, and figure out how do you get those priorities wrapped into the trail. The advisory council, our vision is to uh, go out into our districts and make sure that the people in our districts' voices is heard. One reason we created the Greenway Heritage Conservancy is to make sure that the residents who live there can stay there. But we also want to promote development. It has to be a balance. In some cases, we've shifted the route to create more neighborhood connections so residents can access it. Residents suggested the paths be separated. They wanted to see fast movers on one side, slow movers like pedestrians, dog walkers on the other side. So wherever we can, we're separating that path. So making sure, again, it's not just safe, but it's comfortable for all levels of users. Soul Road was created because it's a lot of people in Detroit who just ride bikes. We've been riding the Soul Road ever since 2013. My favorite part about Soul Road is being with all the people. You get to meet so many different peoples and so many different walks of life. Everybody is great. You never know what you're gonna see. These trails really tie us into the neighborhoods because we get to go down areas where we normally wouldn't get to go if we was in a car. So what I've seen now is revitalization in a lot of places, and we fight to have that in our communities. I want people to want to come outside and see what's down the street in the park. I want people to experience life as it should be.